Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with my lecture series on quantum statistics. This is going to be lecture number two and we're going to talk about multiplicity. The previous video is macro over and micro boxes. So, I have no intention of doing a lecture on thermodynamics so I'm going to do this as quickly as I can and if you want you can do your own study in thermodynamics or perhaps look at videos I'm going to put up hopefully in the future. So, I'm going to define multiplicity as the the number of ways of arranging items or particles or whatever or the the number of combinations or the number of arrangements, we'll say. This is called the multiplicity of something, and we give it the following symbol. Sometimes you'll see the following symbol. Okay, so one of the two. It doesn't really matter as long as you know that you're talking about the multiplicity of it, the number of combinations, arrangements, whatever, whatever it is. Okay, so why is this important? Well, the reason this is important is as follows. I'm going to give you a very quick insight into the thermodynamics. Heat is what drives the world in many respects, right? Heat is what drives the world. And heat is a flow of energy. And you might, you, people, want, people want to know, of course, well, why does heat flow or what is it? Is it, is it some sort of physical phenomenon? What is it? Well, the best description for heat is that it is a statistical fact that life life tends to to um, how do I put it to come to a leap. We know that nature wants to be in equilibrium, and in the multiplicity is no exception, that life tends to come to an equilibrium multiplicity. So that means that if two bodies, if one has a greater multiplicity or number of ways of arranging something, then if body A, we'll say, that, just, let's actually write it down, if A has a multiplicity, let's say, of 200, so there are 200 ways of arranging all the things inside A, and B has a multiplicity of, let's say, 5, well then the multiplicity of A is greater than the multiplicity of B. And when you put the two of these bodies in contact, what we'll try and what life will try and do is have omega A equal to omega B and they'll try and do that. That's what life will try and do. And what is that? Well that's the flow of heat. The way it'll do this is by giving energy. A will give energy to B and that's a flow of heat. So the whole point is that the multiplicity is very important. Um, yeah, it, that's just the way life is. So multiplicity is important. Now, how do we, what is the phrase or the quantity which in thermodynamics we use to represent the multiplicity? And I wonder if you have this. I'm sure you've definitely, there's no doubt about it, you've heard it, but you may, have not, you may not have heard it in the following way. That we define S is equal to K times the natural logarithm of the multiplicity. And this is the entropy. So we define entropy. Now we could say we could very easily say that entropy is the natural logarithm, logarithm of the multiplicity. Then it would be a dimensionless quantity. However, if you put in the Boltzmann's constant k, we it just makes life easier for a lot of calculations, working out temperatures and working out uh, pressures and so on, and doing a lot of thermodynamic uh, equations. So we define s is equal to k log omega as the entropy. So what I'm just have to say to you is that we we know we know entropy is important. But the reason entropy is important is that it is the multiplicity. And I've just said to you that the reason multiplicity is important is that life tends to come to an equilibrium multiplicity. Where whichever body has the most multiplicity, it'll tend to give away energy in the form of heat. Alright, so that is what the multiplicity is. And is there anything else I want to say about this now? 
Uh, I don't think so. However, when we go to, we're going to go to later on in further videos, Maxwell Boltzmann, Fermi Dirac, and Bose Einstein statistics are going to go to their occupancy functions. And we're going to start with their multiplicity functions. We're going to start with the multiplicity functions. Okay, it's very straightforward. And what we're going to do then, uh, like in, we'll say, hardcore thermodynamics, what you do is you work out the entropy. And from the entropy, you can work out loads of different things. Okay, so in other words, we take the natural logarithm of it. We would try and maximize the natural logarithm. And that's in actual fact, what we're, that's what we're going to do. Because if you think about it, take the natural logarithm of omega, and you have the entropy. And that's what we're going to do. Now, we later on, we take the natural logarithm because it's easier to take it, but also because we're actually looking at the entropy of the body. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please pass it down to your friends. Subscribe to my channel and click on an ad.